Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we covered prerequisites. And now, in this video, we will set up the room database for our contacts app. With the help of a room database, we can store the contact, retrieve the contact, update the contact, and delete the contact. As you already know, the room database has three components entity, DAO, and database. And that is what we will create in this video. So an entity is the data itself. DAO is a data access object where we'll pass all the queries. Then the database is where we initialize the room database. So open the contact app project. First, we will create an entity, then a DAO, and then a database. So create a new data class. Name it contact. And done. This will be our entity. To tell the compiler this is our entity class, we need to add entity annotation with a table name. I'll give the table name contacts. Then inside it, we will have five data parameters. ID, image, name, phone number, and email. So let's create it. First is ID as int. ID is a unique value, hence we will assign it as the primary key. Then the image is a string. Name also a string. Phone number is also a string. And lastly, email is also a string. And done. Uh, our entity class is ready. Now let's create a DAO interface. So name it contact DAO. And then again to tell the compiler that this interface is a DAO interface, we need to add DAO annotation. Now inside it, we will create four queries to perform operations such as insert, update, delete, and display queries. Let's start with the insert query. Add insert annotation with on conflict strategy, ignore. Then suspend function insert the data. And what is our data? Contact which we just created. In the same way, we will create queries for update and delete as well. And then, then the last query is to display or retrieve the data. This one we have to write manually. So write along with me. Select star from contacts. Contacts is a table name. Then below it, create a function get all contacts. So whatever the data will be retrieved, that needs to be in a list format. Hence, creating a flow list of data, that is, contact itself. And then, it is showing error. Let me check. Okay, we are using the wrong import. So, make sure it is coroutine flow instead of concurrent flow. Okay? And then, our contact DAO is also ready. Now, next, let's create the database. So create a class, name it contact database and then again to tell the compiler that this is a database class, we need to mention database annotation here and then, but in the database annotation, we also need to mention three parameters. First, entities means the data and that data is contact class. Then version means database version, which is 1. And lastly, export schema false, because we don't want to keep the history of versions. And then, 
then it's not just a class but it's an abstract class means it is mostly used to extend or implement abstract methods and what are abstract methods the methods are function with no body got it so here we are going to extend the room database And then inside it, we will create an abstract function which is our content DAO itself. And done. So our contact database is also ready. One more thing is remaining and that is to initialize the database which we will do in the main activity in our upcoming videos. Okay. In the next video, we will create the repository and view model. So stay tuned for that. For now, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.